Good morning, children. So far, you have done the explanation of stanzas one till three of the poem Dover Beat by Matthew Arnold. And today, in this video, I will discuss the explanation of stanza four. The main objectives of this video are that you will be able to explain meanings of the difficult words as used in the poem, identify the possible themes of the poem, know about the form and structure of the poem, and understand the theme of appearance versus reality. Now let us discuss the meanings of the difficult words in stanza 4. Love. The poet is talking to his beloved and calls her his love. Which seems to means which appears like. Like a land of dreams means dreamlike. Various means full of variety. Hath means has. Certitude means freedom from doubt. Darkling means dark. V means the poet and his beloved. Swept with means moved by. Alarms are the sounds. Struggle and fight means turning against one another. Clashed means fight. Ignorant armies means people in the world. Now let us discuss the stanza. Ah love, let us be true. Love, the poet is talking to his beloved and calling her his love. To one another, for the world which seems to lie before us, like a land of dreams, which seems to lie before us, means which appears like. Like a land of dreams, means the world is so dreamlike, so various, so beautiful, various means full of variety, so new, hath really Neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude. Certitude means freedom from doubt. Nor peace, nor help for pain. And we are here. We means the poet and his beloved. Here, as on a darkling plain. Darkling means dark. Swept with Confused alarms. So swept with means moved by. Alarms means sounds. Of struggle and flight. Struggle and flight means turning against one another. Where ignorant armies clashed by night. Ignorant armies means people of the world. Clashed means fight. So, in this final stanza of the poem, the poet turns from the troubling scene to his beloved and says that they should be true to each other. Here, the poet is suggesting that love is the final truth and the last human resource. The poet believes that this world only looks beautiful and new, but in reality it has Neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help for pain. The world is swallowed by darkness. And then the poem ends with a note of pessimism. That the world is like a better field. And people are turning against one another. Faith and humanity is forgotten. The present is filled with utter sense of hopelessness and despair. Let us discuss the form and structure of the poem Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold. The poem has 37 lines supposedly spoken by someone on Dover Beach. These 37 lines are split into four unequal stanzas. The first stanza has 14 lines and the second and the third stanzas have six and eight lines respectively. 
suggesting the sonnet form so now what is a sonnet or you can say shakespearean sonnet it consisted of two paragraphs six and eight line so the second and the third paragraph of dover beach is also written in sonnet form now coming back but without its more complicated meter and rhyming scheme now what is meter meter is a poetic device that serves as a linguistic sound pattern for the verses as it gives poetry a melodious sound so you can say that meter and rhyme scheme of each paragraph of dover beach is different suggesting pessimism or disorder existing in the world now i'm going to discuss the theme appearance versus reality for that open your workbook reverie at page number 134 but before discussing what the theme is i will first discuss the difficult words in it underline them on your book and write meanings so that later you understand the theme in a better way no down the meanings opposition means strong disagreement appearance means what things look like apparently means seemingly glimmering means shining cliffs are the rocks with steep side desolate means lonely naturalistic means related to nature tremulant cadence means trembling sound eternal means never ending misery means discomfort perpetual means continuous serenity means calmness despair means hopelessness pessimistic means not hopeful to see the worst side of something grim means very serious contrast means difference in two things certitude means freedom from doubt distinguish means differentiate four means enemy attributed means marked as a reason for something influence means impact or effect now let us discuss the theme appearance versus reality matthew arnold's dover beach presents the common opposition between appearance and reality the poet is suggesting that the world which apparently looks beautiful is not so in reality the appearance in the opening lines which describes the calm sea the shining moon the glimmering cliffs of england is quite different from the reality of life which the poet accepts is like the desolate beach and the confused battle field the poem begins with the naturalistic scene describing the beauty of nature on a seashore the sea is calm tonight the tide is full the moon lies fair upon the straits so the poet in the first six lines of the poem describes what the nature looks like or appears to be but in reality the calm sea waves tremulous cadence the sound made by the pebbles when they strike the shore have been described as representing an eternal note of sadness now where has the sadness come from in victorian era when this poem was written there was a great conflict in minds of human beings because of darwin's theory of evolution the christian belief that god created man directly from the clay image by breathing life into him was badly shaken by darwin's theory of evolution that we the human beings were only part of evolution on earth now coming back this eternal note of sadness takes back the speaker to the ancient greek playwright sophocles who heard the similar sound 
in the Aegean Sea and was reminded of the misery of human existence. Therefore, the perpetual movement of the waves and the sound made by the pebbles suggest to the speaker not serenity but hopelessness and despair. Moreover, the fourth and the final stanza is extremely pessimistic, which depicts the grim reality of the world, which is in contrast to the joy and innocent beauty of the first few lines of the poem. In the fourth stanza, the poet urges his beloved to be true to him in the world, which is no less than a battlefield where everyone else was against one another. The world, according to the speaker, seems to lie before us like a land of dreams, offering at least an appearance that seems so various, so beautiful, so new. The speaker is suggesting that the world in reality does not offer any of the promises it makes, like that of joy, love, light, certitude, peace and help for pain. Contrary to these promises, the world is like a battlefield at night where the soldiers fire at shadows, unable to distinguish between friend and foe or between good and evil. All this has been attributed to the loss of faith in God and religion under the influence of scientific ideas. Now, your homework for today is to do question number 1C given at the page 141 of your workbook, Reverie. Discuss Dover Beat by Matthew Arnold as a dramatic monologue. You have to solve this answer with help of the hints given in your workbook. Thank you.